Ariel, the Little Mermaid Bedtime Story for Kids. Hello, beloved readers. Today, I have an exciting story to share with you. I hope it brings you joy and excitement. Today, Luna have a book named Ariel, the Little Mermaid Bedtime Story for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Kid Channel for more stories. Thank you for reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, there lived a little mermaid named Ariel. Her father, King Triton, told all the merfolk they were never to go up to the surface because he thought humans were dangerous. But Ariel was fascinated by humans. She loved exploring the old shipwrecks on the seafloor, even if she had to get past sharks to do it. One day, while Sebastian the crab was trying to tell Ariel to keep her head in the water where it belonged, she saw a ship pass by overhead. She went up to the surface to get a closer look. She peeked over the side of the boat and saw a man playing with his dog. It was Prince Eric and his dog, Mac. As Ariel watched, Prince Eric's man Grimsby gave him a birthday gift, a statue carved to look like Prince Eric. Just then, a big storm blew in. Lightning cracked and lit the ship on fire. Eric was thrown overboard and hit his head. He was sinking, but Ariel swam down and scooped him up. She brought him back to shore and sang to comfort him. He woke just enough to hear her voice, but didn't see her face. When Grimsby found him, Prince Eric vowed to search the kingdom and find the girl and marry her. He searched and searched, but didn't find her. Because she wasn't in the kingdom. She was under the sea. Ariel swam about, humming, in a day. King Triton noticed. He asked Sebastian who was the lucky merman Ariel had fallen in love with. Sebastian accidentally let it slip that Ariel had been going up to the surface. Meanwhile, Flounder surprised Ariel by bringing the statue of Prince Eric that had sunk with the ship to her cave of human treasure. Ariel was delighted, but then King Triton appeared. He only wanted to protect her, so he decided he'd have to crush her attachment to humans. He used his magic trident and smashed all of her human treasures to pieces. Afterward, the eels Flotsam and Jetsam came and whispered to her, Poor lonely little mermaid. No one understands. Ursula can help you. Ariel went with them to meet the sea witch, who said she could turn Ariel into a human for three days. She had to get Prince Eric to kiss her by the end of the third day. If she did, she'd remain a human. If she didn't, she would wither away and become part of Ursula's collection. To pay for the spell, Ursula took Ariel's voice. While Ariel sang, Ursula captured Ariel's voice in the magic shell she wore around her neck. Ursula worked her magic and Ariel's fin turned into legs. Sebastian and Flounder helped her up to the shore. Ariel loved her new legs, but she had to learn how to use them. Scuttle the seagull came by and dressed her up in the tattered old sail from a wrecked ship. Just then, Max came bounding down the shore and greeted Ariel. Prince Eric followed. When he saw Ariel, he exclaimed, It's you! Ariel nodded, but when Prince Eric realized she couldn't speak, he said, Oh, never mind. You couldn't be the girl I'm looking for. But he brought her back to his castle anyway because he thought she'd been in a shipwreck and wanted to help her. The castle servants gave her a bath and a new dress, and she was invited to have dinner with the prince. Sebastian almost got cooked up and served on the platter, but he escaped with Ariel's help. The next day, Ariel and Eric took a carriage ride. Ariel was fascinated by everything and curious to know how it all worked. At the end of the day, 
Eric took Ariel out on a rowboat in a lagoon. With Sebastian's help, he guessed her name. He almost kissed her, but Flotsam and Jetsam were watching, and they tipped the boat over. Ursula had been watching in her crystal ball. Trapped, she said. At this rate, he'll kiss her by tomorrow, and my plan will fail. So Ursula turned herself into a beautiful young human named Vanessa and cast a spell on Prince Eric to make him think he was in love with her. The next morning, Ariel went downstairs, but saw Prince Eric together with Vanessa. He announced that he and Vanessa were going to be married on their wedding ship that very evening. This looked terrible. Poor Ariel was going to lose her family and Prince Eric, too. Scuttle was flying over Eric's wedding ship when he looked into a porthole. He saw Vanessa getting ready for her wedding. But when she looked into the mirror, the mirror showed her true reflection and Scuttle saw that she was actually Ursula. He flew back to tell Ariel. Sebastian swam down to tell King Triton. Flounder helped Ariel swim out to the ship while Scuttle told all the sea animals and birds to stop the wedding. Dolphins jumped up and squirted Vanessa. Birds dove at her and starfish leaped up and stuck all over her. When Ariel climbed over the rail of the ship, Scuttle pulled Vanessa's shell necklace off and it crashed at Ariel's feet. Ariel's voice floated back into her. It's me, she said. When the shell smashed, it broke the spell Ursula had over Eric. He ran to Ariel. Ariel, it was you the whole time. He went to kiss her, but the sun dipped below the horizon and Ariel turned back into a mermaid. You're too late, Ursula cried as she turned back into her octopus form. She grabbed Ariel and dove into the water. Eric grabbed a harpoon and went to jump in after her, telling Grimsby, I lost her once, Grim. I'm not going to lose her again. King Triton showed up to stop Ursula, but Ariel had signed a contract and King Triton knew he had no other choice. He offered himself in Ariel's place, which of course was what Ursula wanted all along. King Triton withered away and Ursula got his crown and his trident. She used its magic to make herself huge and swirled a whirlpool in the ocean, with Ariel at its center. She zapped at Ariel with the trident. But Prince Eric had a plan. The whirlpool had brought up all the old shipwrecks from the bottom of the ocean. Eric climbed aboard one of these and steered its jagged bow straight through Ursula's heart. Ursula disappeared and all her bad magic was undone. King Triton and all the other poor unfortunate souls Ursula had tricked were free. Prince Eric returned to his place on land, but as King Triton watched Ariel stare longingly at him on the beach, he said to Sebastian, She really does love him. There's just one problem. How much I'm going to miss her. He used the magic of his trident to turn Ariel human again. She ran out of the water to Prince Eric and he spun her around and kissed her. Soon after, they set sail on their own wedding ship. Ariel's friends and family gathered in the water around them. King Triton raised himself up on a wave to kiss his daughter. Ariel would miss her family and friends, but she visited them at the water's edge. She got to live on land where she felt she belonged. And they all lived happily ever after. We have reached the end of the story. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with Luna on Teep Kid Channel. Bye. I'll see you next time.